Okay, we gotta take out these that we just did because these are fine. And we're not doing fine work right now. We're doing coarse work. Now, what, how much clearance do we have? Do you remember? None. I think we got about a thousand and a half to hone. I forget. Uh, let's see. Half one. We got about half a thousand to hone out with a coarser stone. Okay, this is our 300 stone, which is about, uh, I forget what it is, about 180 or 220 grit. I forget which one it is. 300 does not mean 300 grit. This one I hone to, on the fine stone I use, a, I leave half a thou, the next one down I leave a thou, and then this one here I leave a thou and a half, and I go to a real coarse one. So we have to back figure our number. So we come back a half, come back one, so that means we got to be 23 and a quarter, and we are smaller than that, so we're going to use this stone to hone out about a half a thou. And these are nice and sharp, so they're going to want to cut me. So I can either cut myself, like they usually do. Or I put my sissy gloves on. And these are leather gloves. Instead of this leather glove, I use this leather glove. The only problem is these leather gloves have been used more than once already, so they have evidence that I have used them more than once. Slimy. No, that's not the evidence I was talking about. I was talking about the holes I already cut through them. The so we are back into my leather again, see? So I still got to be careful where my finger is. You know what you're going to do? We're going to cheat. Time to break these gloves in the other side. Now these are leather trucker gloves. That's what these are. I guess truckers use leather gloves. I don't know. They used to be tan. Some trucker walking around the truck stop right now looking for his gloves. He's looking for his gloves, yes. The dog ate them. All right, so. There. My back and forth movement dictates the home process. The process pattern we're looking for is about what I got right there. It's about a 30 degree low angle. Set this knife to what I want to cut. I want to be right there. So I can force it through right there. Hard to force there. That's really good. I'm not going to place some problem. Shocker. So we're big down here and tight down there. So that means we're going to hold more there. Crossfit honing is right here at the bottom. Figure out the cross hatch. That's called honing technique. So we got around to the right here and I'm just going to let the have trouble feeling what I'm doing. Yeah. 
how it goes through. Now we got to cool it off. Put the cool bin over there. And get another one. Feels tighter on this side, but it's hard to cut my way. Paper protector. Right. Cool these buckets of oil over here. Stuff we're cutting with, and that will shrink the cylinder back more to a standard size because as it gets hot, it expands and gives you a wrong number. So we didn't have much honing to do, that's why we didn't hold very much with these. Okay, now we go on to our fine grit, but not real fine. These are 500 number, so that puts us about probably about a 380 grit maybe. This is what some people use for their finish home. I actually got two more to go if I want. All right, how'd I do this? Bad glove goes on good hand. There we go. Can't put gloves on them pretty bad. Already do that? Crosshatch is a little bit too vertical, I'm a little bit too fast. Now we're going to move this down to our new number. Now we're going to go to, we're going to finish up here, but right now we're about three quarter. Try to get the silver. Square it up. We always fight and try to keep it square and round. Right now they feel pretty equal. Put the cylinder 180 degrees. Going through like a 
pressure. Go through a little pressure, so it's equalized again. We're going to have to let it cool off because it's got the heat in it. The next one. Let's cut that off for now. They don't see 50 more minutes to wear up. Definitely done. Okay, this one's almost done. We're going to push the size again. We've got about a tenth or so to go on this one. Going straight still. That's good. That's a tenth of a thou, right? Yeah, that's a tenth of a One tenth of one thousand. My talking tenth. That. Could be my age too though. Okay, that's the size. That one cool All right, so now I'm gonna cool this one down a little bit.